Hey, my little angels. How are you? Come on in. Come in. Don't be shy. Come on in. You're all welcome. Everybody's welcome. Be comfortable. We have all kinds of seats for you. We have the rocking chair over there that fits two. We have the hammock over there that fits three, four, if you decide to snuggle. <laughs> and we have that couch over there. And we have some cushions on the floor. Just be comfy. Who's that waiting at the door? See new people come on in don't be shy come on in i'm so happy that you came thank you for giving our channel a chance i appreciate it and if you like it you can give it a thumbs up you can what else can you do? you could share it comments are incredible you guys the comments i love the comments end of story i really do i love interacting with all of you i love knowing what you think. Um, actually, this video is because of comments and it takes this great big world and makes it smaller. And that's a good thing, guys. And please hit that subscribe button below. I'd appreciate it. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten my returning people. I see you guys. Hi. Hi. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for being here. I see you. I know you're here. And I know that comments you're not comfortable with, and that's okay. You do the best you can, and that's all that matters, okay? But thank you all for coming, and thank you all for always supporting our channel. And please keep those comments coming. So, the other day I showed you my new phone case that I had to order because I'm hard on my phone. And my phone, it suddenly dawned on me, my phone is my channel. So I can't really let anything happen to it. And people were asking me, can you please do a video of your phone cases? And I did one before, but I know I've gotten some since. So I just gathered up a half dozen or so. Yeah, I have more. <laughs> phone cases are jewelry for your phone. I will never, I will never understand my husband, okay? Uncle Angel gets a new phone. And if it's a different size, black otter box. End of story. That's it. Although this phone, he went wild and got navy. But it's an otter box. He never changes it. I'm like, how can you not change your phone case? Don't you get bored? He's like, no. Okay, whatever. I do. And he's constantly asking me why I need a new phone case. Nobody needs one. I just like them. And I can't help it. Like places like Shen and Amazon, they're cheaper. Win winners, Marshalls, you know. Anyways, first things first. Is the one thing I can't be without. These are my tempered glass screen protectors. And I usually get Baby Angel to put them on for me. She's really good at it. If I put them on, I get the big bubbles. So even though I follow the direction. These are awesome. I'm hoping this is one of the ones. Let's see if I can get it open. Nope, I have to open it later. Some of them come with a case that you fit over yours so that you can't really mess up where to place it. I like that. I highly recommend that. Oh, for those of you that, if you're gonna watch the meditation video that I'm filming next, um, I'm gonna be meditating on the floor with our chakra candles it's going to be a really cool video but i bought this t-shirt just for that video okay and for this channel i'm that ant <laughs> i'm anti angel and i'm that ant <laughs> i always say that if people ask at halloween or christmas about our house and i'm like yeah we're that house you know i i think the griswold showed restraint let me put it that way <laughs> so Always I get one of these. Now these are in no particular order. Um, this was one I really liked because it's, <laughs> it's one that covers my phone um, to protect the screen. You can see all the fingerprints, it's ridiculous. Um, and I love the, the mirror finish on it. However, and then you open it and there's your phone. The problem was the inside isn't mirrored. It's frosted, so I can't use that as a mirror. Because I do use it as a mirror. I do. 
Um, and it was getting it filthy. My fingerprints were all over it. And so it didn't last too long. But I have it. And I love, you, you'll see a theme. I love purples and I love pinks. I also love blues. I have a really nice blue one um, that has a Monet print on it, but I can't find it. And I looked for it specifically for this video. Um, I'm gonna be finding a whole lot of things in a couple of weeks when we destroy the kitchen because it'll mean cleaning out a lot of things. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Okay, so the next one, that's, I haven't shown this one in a long time. I used this for a long time, but it's just, um, just a silicone one so it doesn't do a lot um, in the way of protecting my phone but I love the 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 mouths I love that one mm -hmm. I do that and the kissy <laughs> and that smile I like too So this was one of my favorites. And no, it's not a Rolling Stone one. It's just um, mouth. But I just thought it was pretty and I liked it. And then this one is one of my favorites too. It's a little more sturdy. Like you really can't bend it too much. Um, I just got bored of it, to be honest. But I love the ombre effect. And the glitter. See the glitter. And it is see-through. You can't really see that, but it not completely see-through, but you can see what's the opaque. It's opaque. And then mm, this is still one of my all-time favorites. I bought this one for Valentine's. And it's got the, I actually thought this was a fidget one that popped. It doesn't, these are hard as a rock. It is a silicone case, but this back is very sturdy. And when it fell, this gives it extra, sh I guess, shock absorber, I don't know, but it, it's one of my all time favorites. And I love the color, I love the hearts, I love the texture. I like texture a lot in my phone cases. And then this one is one I've been using for a while. And this is my, I also love strawberry. I don't know why. It's only just recently come up um, that I just really like strawberry decorations on things. So, And it's our friend, Hello Kitty. And there's the daisy and some bows and some cherries. What does it say? Strawberry Kitty. It's a Strawberry Kitty. So I don't know if this one was actually a Sanrio, but again, it's just the, the silicone. It's just to make it pretty. And then this one is another one. I've been using this very recently. I literally just took this off, but again, it's the silicone. But look at those. I love the pink and the red strawberries and the little wee flowers, even the green and the seeds. I just think this is so pretty. And I actually have a wee wallet, just one of those card holding wallets that fold over, the exact same design. So I like that it was a white background though. But I thought this was really... And then, this is the one I had the most hope for. I absolutely love it. Definitely sturdy. It is hard as a rock. It's also heavy as hell. <laughs> and when I put my phone in it, it's just heavy. But look at this one, guys. It's so pretty. Look at all the glitter. And I know it's tacky. And I don't care. I love tacky. And it's embossed. You see, like everything's raised. The roses have been added, the pearls, and these are solid. Like, I don't know how they put this together, but this stuff's not coming off, okay? And like, hard as rock, you cannot move this thing. And I love the detailing of the pearls, the little seed pearls. 
all around the outside and all around. I love details like that. It just makes it so much prettier to me. And I love the little daisy. And for those that follow regularly, we have the daisies on our, this exact daisy, on our um, mic covers. In fact, we had to get a new collar for Miss Candy since she got skunked that last, what, two weeks ago now? Two or three weeks ago. And um, it's it's got a daisy collar. It's pink and it's got white daisies, but the the medallion on it is this. So I thought that was really sweet. And it's got the glitter and the jewels. And I love it. And I love this rose and the pink of it. And then this one, it's, they're iridescent pearls, but as you can see, I'm hoping you guys can see it here. There's a purple inside. So you get the pinks and the purples. I think this is supposed to be a bee, I think, out of flower. Um, that's not my favorite thing. But I love this little flower and the jewels and just the texture and feel of it. And this one is, yep, yeah, that's, you can just see everything. All the details are so pretty. It's just, I love this. I just wish it wasn't so heavy. Like even in my hand, it's heavy. And then when I touched my phone, it was like, oh my gosh, heavy. But I do have my new one. So this is an all tapping and scratching video. I'm hoping anyways. So can you tell me in the comments Guys, I'd love to know which one is your favorite. And the one I have on now, you guys know, is the mint green with the rainbow color paw prints, cat or dog, or whatever has paws. Um, and I like it, and, but it's very much the, um, I think the, the correct word is generic, or as I call it, it's the keep ass version of the Otter Rock. <laughs> but it'll at least keep my phone secure and safe because I don't want anything to happen. Like, I know I can use my iPad to film, but I haven't quite gotten around that yet. So I'm working on it. Um, but yeah, I really, and I'm sorry I didn't film yesterday, guys. I just didn't have it in me. I was just too tired and not feeling well. And it was a dark day yesterday, but today's better, you know? So that's a good thing. So what I did do yesterday was spend time, um, responding to comments too. And I had to remove a comment yesterday. Um, I do believe in dialoguing. I do believe that if you don't agree with something I say, you are more than welcome to tell me that. I'm not um, that terrible a person that I can't listen to comments. But after I responded, I thought about the people that could read the comment that it might hurt and I won't have that. This is a safe space for everybody, okay? Everybody's welcome, um, but I only have the two rules. Um, you can't hurt somebody else. You can have your opinions, but you can't say them in a way that's gonna hurt someone else. And no lit candles if you're trying to go to sleep. Those are my two rules. And this was a comment which I still don't understand what I said wrong, but apparently when I was talking about the one size makeup, I said that makeup knows no gender or sex, like anybody can wear makeup. And the person took great offense to that. Um, but they get a little deeper into just, I'm offended by your comment. So, and they, they were very disappointed in me for saying it. I stand by what I say. Okay, I, I wouldn't hurt anybody for anything. I respect other people's opinions, but I stand by what I said. I didn't say anything wrong as far as I'm concerned. And I didn't delete it because I don't want anyone disagreeing with me. I deleted it because it might hurt someone else and that I won't have. Okay, guys, so just so you guys are aware of that. Um, I don't delete comments easily. Um, I try to dialogue as much as I can with people that disagree but it's what is you know it's i'm not gonna this is positivity and kindness 
and taking away the stigma of mental health and accepting everyone for every reason, okay? Everyone is welcome here and everyone should be safe here. And I want that for everybody, okay? Because I'm that aunt. <laughs> I want you to be safe and I want you to be comfortable and I want you to be welcomed and I always welcome you. Um, I did do the extended intro. Guys, I tried to do a full video of the, just the intro and I just, I couldn't get it so that it didn't feel forced or um, fake. And I want, authentic. I wanted authentic, uh, blah, blah, authenticity. Um, so I did do that video on the weekend of an extended intro. And I hope you guys liked that one. And what else? And yes, and don't forget that um, our friend Sunshine on My Shoulders, ASMR, has changed the channel name to Southern Lady ASMR, and that suits so well. And she's back. She was ill, and she's back. She posted a video yesterday, which I just loved. And I have to tell you, it brought back so many memories. Um, she did vintage toys. Well, not vintage. They were toys from her childhood. Um but it brought back so many memories for me. Um, and what I love is she upcycles too. She has this beautiful dollhouse that she found, you know, someone had put in front of a dump, a dumpster. And she took it home, rescued it, and she cleaned up a cabbage patch. I just love that. I love anyone that can upcycle and um, Re reuse something. I love seeing those videos. I'm addicted to those videos on Instagram where people take, like I saw somebody take an old filing cabinet that they got at a thrift store, one of those big tall metal filing cabinets for $6. The drawers were all damaged and dented. They took all the drawers out. They spray painted it black. They screwed on um, sawhorse legs, painted those black, put them on their deck, like that, like on its side so that it was empty on the, from the top down, filled it with soil, and that was their herb garden on their deck. And this was me. I love people that can see something and see what it could be. I'm pretty good at it, but not like that. Like, I admire people that can do that so much. And yeah, it reminded, so you guys seem to like my stories, so I will tell you a couple stories. Um, one of the things that Southern Lady showed was her Raggedy Ann and Andy. Now she had huge ones and it reminded me of something that happened. Ugh, I want my cushion. It reminded me of something that happened. I have my Raggedy Ann. I still have my Raggedy Ann from my childhood. And I did buy Baby Angel her own too when she was a baby. But I had to have a very serious surgery when I was very young. And we didn't have money like not a lot of money. And I remember my mom the night before the surgery, she took me down, I went into the chapel and just say a prayer. I, I, my faith has always been strong, even since a wee one. And I told my mom, it, don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. I heard God's footsteps. Now, I'm sure it was the chaplain at the back of it, but I heard God's footsteps, everything was gonna be fine. And we went into the gift shop and they had this giant Raggedy Ann. And then they had a wee Raggedy Ann with this yellow gingham dress. It was so pretty. Um, and my mom goes, she knew I loved Raggedy Ann. And she's like, I'm gonna get you that Raggedy Ann. And I said, could I have the big one? And she's like, I can't afford the big one. And I always, to this day, I have guilt feelings about that. Like, I think about it now, she must have been like pinching pennies to afford to buy the small one. And here I, can I have the big one? But that small one went with me everywhere. I still have it. It's still in perfect condition. It still has the heart that says, I love you. And I just, and right, but Raggedy Ann was not something that Baby Angel loved. I still have hers. And I remember we have a giant cedar chest that my aunt and uncle made us for our wedding gift. And like, it's stunning, absolutely stunning. And it started out as sarcasm that I would put all the stuffies that people, and by people, I mean the two grandmas, okay? My mom and his mom. And I kept telling them she has enough stuffies, guys. So I started putting them on the cedar chest so that when they came up to her room, they could see them and say, oh yeah, this is too much. No, then it became a thing, let's fill the cedar chest. So this one day, she was about eight or nine. 
Now, on that cedar chest were two, not one, not one, but two of mine. One was my Raggedy Ann, and one was Pokey my teddy bear. And I will show you Pokey my teddy bear someday because it was my father's when he was born. So that teddy bear is nearly 85 years old. It still has its glass eyes. And these were not teddy bears like we have. These are not stuffies. This I think is filled with sawdust or it's hard. And one paw is safety pinned together. The safety pin is probably vintage, but um, because I guess it, it ripped, but it was my dad's, then it became mine. And I would like to say that I gave it to her, but I didn't because it's mine. Anyways, she's about eight or nine. And I said, it's time, let's go through some of these toys. Do you think maybe other people could, you know, enjoy these? Yes, okay, can I help you? No, no, I said, okay, just make two piles, a keep pile and a donate pile, okay? Okay, okay. I come up and she goes, I could only get rid of two, really? Guess what two? That's right. Raggedy Ann and Pokey. They're both still here. That's a crafty little girl I have. She knew what she was doing. <laughs> um, and that made me think about my favorite toys as a child too. And I had a, my Easy Bake Oven. I loved to cook even then. My father loved my little brownies that I would make him. And I have to laugh though, because my sister and I, my brother and sister are twins and they're three years younger than I am. So my sister and I, oh my gosh, we teased my brother terribly. That poor, my poor brother. I don't blame him anymore for what he did. Um, we would tease him and it was terrible the things we did, the jokes we played on him. And my mom once told us that don't eat watermelon seeds because they'll grow your ears. We fed him spoonfuls of watermelon seeds and we checked his ears every day and there was not one single watermelon. Um, my sister was Barbies. I was not a Barbie girl. I never liked Barbies. I didn't get them. I'm like, blech, whatever. Mine was my Mrs. Beasley doll. Nobody messed with my Mrs. Beasley. However, um, Barbie is not my thing, but my sister loved her Barbies and I loved my Easy Bake Oven. And my brother melted my sister's Barbie head in my Easy Bake Oven and ruined both things. <laughs> so I don't blame him. We really did. We, we, we teased him, so <laughs> I laugh about everything now. But it brought back all those memories. So I hope that sometimes when I show you my videos or I tell you these stories, it brings back great memories for you because that's what I'd like for you. So as always, you guys, I love you. I value you. I honor you. And I'm so very, very glad that you were born.